walking on a cloud. <laughs> I don't think we can walk on clouds, Nick. Have you ever tried? No, because clouds are too high up. Then you don't really know that you can't. Hmm. But if you haven't tried either, then you don't really know that you can. If you don't know that you can, and you don't know that you can't, then we don't know if you can or you can't. Oh, brother. There's got to be a way we can know for sure. What do you want to know for sure? <laughs> Cat, what are you doing upside down? Upside down? Oh! <laughs> That's better. Now, what do you want to know for sure? If we can walk on clouds. Or if we can't. Well, Cat, is it yes or is it no? Walking on clouds. I don't know. But I do know a way for us to know more. How? By hiking to the top of Mount No More. It's very high. If we climb Mount No More to see real clouds up close, we'll know for sure. And finding out for yourself is fun, fun, fun. Your mother won't mind at all if you do. Mom, can I go up Mount No More with Nick and the Cat in the Hat to know more about clouds? It's good to know more about everything. Have fun. We can go, we can go. I know, I know. To the thingamajigger. Buckle up. <laughs> Flick the jigamawizzer. <laughs> The thing of my jigger is up and away. Go, 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 go on that adventure. We're flying with the cat in the hat today. When your head's in the clouds and you want to know more, Mount No More is the summit you have to explore. Cool. We get to be real mountain climbers. And there's no better mountain to climb than Mount No More. Wow! This is amazing! That looks pretty high, but why do they call it Mount No More? Well, the higher you climb, the more you know. Then let's get going so we can know more about clouds. Uh, which way? Trying things out and asking questions is what Mount No More is all about. Well, let's try this one and see. Ew! This trail is... Kind of squishy. My foot sank right into it. Then we don't want to take that trail. Good call. It's like marshmallow goo. Not hard enough to walk on. Let's try this trail. It looks okay. It looks good and solid. Hiking up this path is the way to go. See? You already know more. <laughs> Incredible. This magnificent place is called Look Out Below. Now that's a view. Things look so clear up here on Mount No More. And the more you see, the more you know. What I know is that we're even closer to the clouds. Maybe we'll find out that clouds are like cotton candy. If clouds are like cotton candy, then they can't hold us up. Why? Remember the time I sat on my cotton candy and it squished flat? <laughs> yeah, that was one sticky mess. Cotton candy is too fluffy and soft to hold us up. I never thought of that. Now I hope clouds aren't like cotton candy at all. But they still might be. There's only one way to find out. Get all the way up and find out for ourselves. Let's go. Liquidity. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, but how are we going to get across? And we know we can't walk on water, right? We'd sink to the bottom like that stone. If only we had something solid that we could walk on over the water. Like a bridge or something? Well, I must have something. Hmm. 
Walk on. Wait, maybe we should check. How? When testing for solidness needs to be done, just whistle real loud for thing two and thing one. <laughs> Hello. Hello, things. Would you kindly test our bridge to see if it's solid enough to walk on? <laughs> enough, but it's too short to reach across to the other side. You wouldn't happen to have another bridge in your hat, do you? Another bridge? In this little hat? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> of course I do! We can cross! Thank goodness! Shall we go? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Again. Now that's what I call bridging a gap. Let's go! <gasps> wow! We're a lot higher. We must be getting closer. Come on! Let's keep going. Right behind you, Nick. From. Here's a bigger question. How are we going to find our way through it? We can't see a thing. Just our luck. We came all this way to see clouds up close, and now we're lost in this fog. It's damp, too. It almost feels like rain. Should we turn back? I am not going to let some silly fog stop us from knowing more. If we just stay on this path, we can walk right through the fog. Yeah. And if we just go a bit higher up, we'll reach the clouds. That's the spirit. Lead the way, Nick. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this way. I can see you better now. We must be getting out of the fog. I think you're right, Sally. Come on, we're almost out. It's clear again! We must be getting so close to those clouds now. They should be right... Huh? We're at the top. But where are the clouds? Have they blown away? <gasps> Look, Sally. I think those are the clouds down there. Down there? How did we miss it when the clouds are right beside the mountain? Maybe... We couldn't see the clouds when it was foggy because the fog was the clouds. <gasps> you can see the path right through them. So when we were walking through the fog, <gasps> we were walking through clouds. There's no more of no more to climb. So do you know more about clouds now? Do we ever. If we walked through the clouds without bumping into them, that means they aren't solid. And if clouds aren't solid, then we can't walk on them. Just like we can't walk on water. Let's try one more test. You're right, Nick. We would drop through the clouds like that stone. <gasps> Remember how damp we felt in the fog? Maybe that's because fog and clouds are both made of water. Wow, I never thought... Doesn't it feel great to know more at the top of Mount Normore than you knew at the bottom? You're right about that, Cat. Curious minds lead to answers galore. And though we know a lot, we can always know more. <gasps> What's that sound? That sounds like the thingamajigger. Hello! It is 
the thingamajigger. Come to take us home. Yay! Let's go! Those clouds still look like we can walk on them. Yeah, but we know that we can't because clouds aren't solid. Look, I see an elephant up there. An elephant? If you can't walk on clouds, how's an elephant going to? It's not on the cloud, Fish. It is the cloud. Oh, <laughs> I knew that. I was just testing you. <laughs> Good game, Nick. Let's see what else we can find in the clouds. Whoa, look, it's a rabbit. Look, it's a pony. Wow, that one's beautiful. Two glasses of cold juice coming up. Which one do you want, Sally? The tall one, of course. It has more juice in it. Uh-uh. Mom said she poured the same amount from juice boxes that were exactly the same. I'm sure there's more in this one. And I'm sure there isn't. You can't both be right. Who's right? Cat! I say there's more juice in this glass. And I know Mom poured the same amount of juice in both glasses. So, who's right? Hmm. Well, I don't know that. But I do know where we can go to resolve this disagreement. Where? On a fact-finding mission. It's in point of view. Where changing your mind is a fun thing to do. But which one of us is going to change our mind? You! <laughs> your mother will not mind at all if you do. Let's go! Mom, can we go to point of view with the cat in the hat? Nick needs to have his mind changed. Or maybe Sally needs to have her mind changed. <laughs> well, it's always a good idea to see another point of view. We can go! We can go! I know, I know! Do the thingamajigger! Buckle up! <laughs> Isn't this fun? Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure, the thing of my jigger is up and away. Go, 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 go. On an adventure, we're flying with the cat in the hat today. How is this place going to change our minds about who's right? What you see with your eyes and you think must be true could be quite a surprise when you're in point of view. Whoa! Those flowers are so pretty. Oh, <laughs> they're butterflies. It's all about what you think you see and what you really see. Aha! Why, this must be the message I've been expecting. Have us chosen to shoot Yes! Ah! We've arrived just in time for the Fun Fact Finding Festival. It's like a scavenger hunt, but you're finding facts. Where do we start? At the starting point, of course. This way. Aha! This must be the starting point. And here's our first Fun Fact Finding mission. Your mission is to look at these two sticks in the middle and tell me which one is longer. That's easy. Easy peasy. Even I can figure this one out. That one is longer. Yep, that's right. So you both agree it's longer? Yeah. Right, Nick? It is longer. Isn't it, Cat? Hmm. Well, there must be some way to know for sure. Hmm. <gasps> I know. We could measure both sticks. You mean, get evidence? If getting evidence means measuring both sticks, I guess you could do it. Getting evidence is what fun fact finding is all about. Buggy for you, I brought my handy dandy candy stripe measure. Okay, let's check it out. This stick is one, two, three, four. Four stripes long. Now we'll measure the other stick, the longer one. This stick is one, two, three, four stripes long. What? 
It's exactly the same length? But if they're the same, why does one look longer? Hmm. Maybe because they are not exactly the same. You're right. The arrows on this one point away from the middle stick. And the arrows on this one point towards the middle stick. Do you think that makes it look like one is longer and one is shorter? That must be it. So now that you've found the facts and you have evidence, have you both changed your minds? Uh-huh. We thought one stick was longer, but now we know it wasn't. Aha! Thinking and knowing are two different things. Let's see what surprises our next fun fact brings. This way! Whoop! This way! For this fun fact finding task, you each have to look at the two orange dots in the center and tell me which one is bigger and which one is smaller. This looks too easy, Cat. Yeah. The orange dot in this one is definitely bigger. Right. And this one is smaller. So you both agree that this dot is bigger? Yes, but just to prove it, let's measure. Bring that dot over here, Nick. Huh? They're the same size. That's impossible. I knew there was a catch. But what was it? There's something different about these two pictures. The gray dots in this picture are all big. And the gray dots in this picture are all small. So maybe the small dots in this picture make the orange dot look bigger. And the big dots in this picture make the orange dot look smaller. Another fun fact you were able to find. And now that you know, have you both changed your mind? <laughs> yes, I have. Ah, one more fun fact to find. Let's go. This looks like the next one, Cat. What do we do? For this fun fact finding mission, you have to find which door is the tallest and which is the shortest. The door closest to us looks like the biggest to me, and the one that's farthest looks like the smallest. But now we know we can't trust our eyes. There's only one way to know for sure. Get evidence by measuring. All those doors? You're gonna need help. When all kinds of measuring needs to be done, it's time to rely on thing two and thing one. Why, hello, things. We need you to measure all these doors and find out which one is the tallest and which is the shortest. You can use my handy-dandy candy stripe measure. Hmm, it's not handy or dandy anymore. We need something else to measure with. But what? Thanks to the things, we don't have the measurer anymore. <laughs> but we do have the things. <gasps> Those things are the same height. That's totally true. So what can you do? We can measure the doors using the things. Thing one, go stand in front of the closest door. <laughs> Thing one is as tall as the first door. Thing two, you go stand in front of the last door. <laughs> He'll be way taller than that door. Huh? He's the same height as the door. And look, thing two looks a lot shorter than thing one. Thing two, did you shrink? Uh -uh. We better check again and make sure they're the same height. Come back so we can measure you again. Hmm, they're exactly the same height. But the door down there is way smaller. This doesn't make any sense. Maybe we have to look at this a different way. A different way? What's that you say? Thanks. Can you go back to the doors? <laughs> I wonder if the doors would look different if we go over here in front of the houses. <gasps> That's amazing. What do you see? 
Explain it to me. From here, we can see that all the doors are exactly the same height. So? So I guess the last door just looked smaller because it was farther away. And what final fun fact did you find? I think things can look different depending on where you're standing. Ah! You've discovered the secret behind point of view. You must look from all sides before knowing what's true. So there are lots of different ways to get evidence. And you can't really know what's true till you've got it. You answered all the questions. How clever of you two. So what's next, Cat? <gasps> awesome. Hey, what's going on? I want to see. Yay! It's the thingamajigger. OK, so now tell me, who was right? Which glass has more juice? We don't know yet. What? We went through all that fact-finding, and you still don't know which one of you was right? We won't know till we get all the evidence. I've got two measuring cups exactly the same. OK, let's pour the juice. Now we'll measure. They do have exactly the same amount of juice. <laughs> so I guess this one looks like it had more juice because the glass is taller and thinner. And this glass is short and wide. So now you both know facts can help change your mind. Just imagine how many more fun facts you will find. <laughs>